Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Linnea. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are going to talk about my hair journey and how I ended up looking like this. I recently had my third big chop in March of 2019 and my last big chop was three years prior, also in March, and I had to cut my hair at that time because it was damaged. This past March was my first time deciding to cut my hair, not because I had color damage, not because I had heat damage, but because I wanted shorter hair. So it was a big time for me that I just woke up and I was like, hey, I don't wanna do this anymore. Um, my hair was really long, really healthy, it was actually shoulder length curly, bra strap length straight, and I didn't want to deal anymore. I didn't want to deal with the single strand knots, I didn't want to deal with styling, my hair took so long to style, and if you look on my channel you can see where I kind of stopped um, doing hair videos because it was just so tiresome and I was no longer having fun, so I was like, I'm done with this. I want to cut my hair. I have a wonderful relationship with Diva Curl and I reached out to them and I was like hey do you guys want to collaborate and do a video together about my hair transition and they were like yes. So I went to the Diva Shawn salon in Broome Street which is in Soho and Candace she was my stylist she cut my hair. Um, so what I told her was that I wanted it kind of like round and I wanted it fairly short because I just wanted a easier wash day. I wanted less hair. So she cut my hair. I admit when she cut off my hair I was very like kind of sad just a little bit because I saw my beautiful curls just like fall into the ground and it had been three years since I last cut my hair and it was the longest and healthiest my hair has ever been. Um, but then I remember like I don't want to do my hair anymore so I was fine with it. So she cut my hair and then we also decided to color my hair. I knew with short hair I would be comfortable with being blonde again. Um, I was blonde in a past life and I had long hair and the maintenance of it and keeping up with the integrity of my curls was really hard. I switched stylists, that was a mistake um, and it was just a, a horrible time trying to maintain length and health while I was blonde. So I told myself I would never be blonde again. Um, so because I told myself that I would never be blonde, I decided to dye my hair black. I love how black hair looks on me, so I was like, this is no problem. I know how hard it is to get rid of black, but I'm never dyeing my hair again, so what does it matter? But fast forward to present time. After Candace cut my hair, we went to Annalise also in the Broom Street location and we decided that we were going to go blonde. I did let her know that I had black professional dye but still black dye in my hair but I hadn't dyed my hair in months and we just cut off so much of my hair so there's no way there could be black in my hair, right? Wrong. So there was like four inches left. I, I didn't have that much hair. I had like this much and there was about four inches left of black hair so I couldn't, this is what I wanted to achieve the first time around, but we simply couldn't. So instead of doing a single process, we did Pintura highlights and she bleached it and it came out to be like a caramel color. It was very pretty, it was still blonde, um, just not as blonde as I am now. So I had my hair cut, I'll insert some pictures. My hair was much shorter, it was dyed for the first time in a long time, a lighter color, and I was happy. That was March. Then a month went by and it was April and I was like, oh my gosh, this is too much hair for me. Like I don't want to deal with it. Um, I had a lot of hair in the front still and even the back, like when I pulled out my curl, the back came down to like right here. I was like, this is kind of long and I didn't want to deal with it. And I knew that I originally really wanted to be blonde. So I was like, I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm going to cut my hair. So the second time around, I went to April. She has been my stylist for the last three, four years. I don't know how long it's been, but it's been quite a long time that she's been cutting my hair. I went to her and I was like, please, let's cut it even lower. And she was like, okay, let's go. Um, she has done my last, my previous big chop, so she just knows my journey with my hair and how I feel about it and just how I'm in a different place now. Um, that I am choosing to go shorter. So she cut the sides and she cut the back and then she kind of like have a gave me a sloped 
tapered cut. I didn't want like a huge angle tapered cut. I just kind of wanted it rounded a little bit. So she did that. And when she did that, I was like, oh my gosh, my hair is so short. I can't even coil the sides and the back. That's what I, I wanted it short enough that I could just coil it once and like that would be it. It was shorter than that. And it was shorter than that because I told her I needed to get that caramel color out of my hair so I can go back to Annalise in Soho and do this blonde. So there is no way around it. I had to really cut my hair short. And it was scary at first because anytime you do something drastically to your appearance, no matter how badly you want or want it to do that, you still have to adjust to how you now look and how you present yourself. So figuring out how to be feminine and what femininity means to me with short hair, um, it was a little process for me. Um, so she cut my hair, that was all good and dandy. And then a week later, I went to Annalise and we bleached my hair to get this look. She put on 20 Developer and she left it on for quite a bit of time. I was nervous that it was going to severely damage my curls um, and change the curl pattern. And even though I had short hair and even though I'm not opposed to cutting my hair, I didn't want it to be damaged. I didn't want it to be limp. Um, so I was a little nervous about how long she left it on but we have to remember my hair was not virgin even though I cut it lower it still had some gloss that we had put in previously so that kind of affected it um, so she she put the bleach in left it on for quite some time rinsed it out and then she put um, some color on it I don't recall what color she put on it but it gave me this like sandy blonde it's not really platinum it has some sand to it which I like this is how I got here uh, did it change my curl pattern yes it definitely did my hair has always been tight around the perimeters and looser on the top so this part you can still see I have curl definition but to me I feel like it's not as tight as my curls used to be um, and I'm okay with that I, I know the risk of what it means to be blonde and have to bleach your hair when your hair is naturally dark. I know the risk of wanting to be blonde when you already have color in your hair. These are things that you have to consider and understand the, the health and state of your hair in its current more moment prior to going blonde and going lighter. Um, right now, I haven't washed my hair on my own. This is still styled from when I was at the salon. and. I'm a little nervous, a little scared of how I myself am going to start doing my hair when it's shorter now. Um, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. The top can easily be coiled. Um, the sides are just really short. And the thing about having short hair that I don't like is when I sleep, my hair automatically it like gets squished. Like that's what happens. But when I have long hair, it didn't matter. I could just like pull it out and it'd be fine. But with my short hair, the curls on the side, they kind of like disappear and it doesn't really stay. Um, my hair personally has always been curliest with length. So even when my hair was longer, um, my roots were never really defined. It was always like mid shaft to the ends that were defined. So it's a little awkward stage that I'm going through when it comes to styling my hair and like keeping the shape. But I like it. I think it's fun. Um, am I going to stay blonde forever? I'm not too sure, honestly. It costs money, it costs time, and um, with my hair being so short, if I were to continue bleaching my hair, I would have to grow it out so she has room to do the bleach without frying my previous bleached hair. Um, so that's going to be interesting growing this out and seeing um, like the blonde and the, the brown, the deep brown together and how that's going to work. But I'm just taking it one step at a time. Um, I'm happy right now. This is what I wanted. This is something different. And I plan on keeping my hair short for quite some time. I'm not growing my hair out, um, you know, to be big and like lengthy. I want to enjoy short hair while I can. And maybe I'll try a different color. Maybe I'll go pink. Maybe I'll go blue. Maybe I've always wanted to do that Rihanna Copper. So there's going to be changes while I can do it. Will I go shorter? Like, will I buzz it off? Um, it's a possibility. I don't really know. 
but for right now I'm really happy and I hope you guys stick around as I'm on this new journey and figuring out what products work for my hair now. Um, I'm sure my porosity has changed, the way my hair texture is now has changed and things may or may not work the same as I'm used to. So hope you guys stick around. Let me know if you're down for dyeing your hair, if you would cut your hair if it was really long. I mean, to me it's just hair, but let me know down below and I'll see you in next week's video.